Let's talk about the Freedom Winch line. Hey guys, Matt with Bleep and Jeep coming at you with the Freedom Winch line version 3.0. I haven't even discussed these since the first prototype two years ago. And the reason for that is because I wasn't able to manufacture them fast enough. They kept selling out. We've got a huge batch now and we listened to all your critiques, every comment. We went through them, made sure that we addressed all of those issues and we're back with version 3.0. So check this out. I wanna show you how it works and all the new features. Throw it to me. Ugh. I'm like, bring me the winch line down and Jamie yells, do you need me to send a shackle? I'm like, no, it's a freedom winch line. I'm telling you, if that guy wants to race me when I leave, I'm gonna race him. Okay, if you're not familiar, what is a freedom winch line? This is something that has been rolling around in my head for years and I finally figured out how to make it work. It's a super simple winch line that doesn't require any accessories. When I first came up with this and made the video of the prototype, people made fun of me. I'll just put it that way. People made fun of me for having such a simple device, but think of something like Velcro. How simple is Velcro, but how useful is it at the same time? So what this does, it allows you to winch to a bumper, to a tree, to practically anything, anything and everything, and all the accessories that you need to do the job are right there in the winch itself. I use the Freedom Winch line in the work that I do. I have used it more than anybody else on the planet and it is a quality product. I still have the original one on the Morver that Matt gave to me a couple of years ago when he first came out. I have it on the banana. I have worked the snot out of it. We used it for the golden nugget recovery. So like I said, we listened to every comment and one of the major comments from version 1.0 was that this end piece was not replaceable. So in version 3.0 now, the freedom loop, we're calling this the freedom loop, is replaceable. If you ever were to need to replace this, if you lost it or if you tore it, broke it, you can just buy another one. But let me show you how this thing works because that doesn't mean anything to you if you don't know what all these pieces are. It's gonna get sketchy. It was really tippy when you just did it. <laughs> okay, so there's thousands of uses. I haven't even figured them all out, but I'll leave it up to you. So first we've got the freedom loop right here. That's a small loop on the end of the winch line. You can take that off if you want to. We have another opening down the line right here. If you wanna go around something a little bit larger, we have another opening right in the middle of this sheath, and we have another opening at eight foot down the line. So you can go around a huge tree, then that sheath can protect whatever you're going around, whether it be a tree, bumper, roll cage, person, whatever you need. <laughs> <laughs> All the accessories go right into the winch I've gotten the question about this a lot. How do I store this thing? Well. You can store it right here on the end. Let's say you're gonna be winching a lot today. You can store it just like this. If somebody rolls over, if somebody needs help quickly, you just free spool, grab this and run. Here's another option. You know that maybe you might winch today. You can leave that there, shove this inside the winch. Let's say you're feeling really good about it. You're like, oh, I'm in a buggy. I'm never gonna to need to winch for the rest of the week. Take this off, put it on your shifter inside and just suck that tight, nice and flush. We're also experimenting with several fair lead options, ideas that might work super well with the Freedom Winch line, specifically to store the Freedom Loop on the outside or the side of the fair lead. Check that out, isn't that cool? You got any ideas? And you take off running. Josh, what is wrong with your winch? <laughs> what is wrong with my winch? Oh. No joke, we just put Josh here to film that. And he's got stuck. <laughs> See if you can go backwards. Uh, maybe. A lot of you know that I was not very fond of using winches when I first started using winches. And a lot of that was this weird hook on the end that didn't hook to anything without damaging it. Problem solved. What are some of the other ways that we listened to the comments from you guys? Well, number one, the price point. I think that was the biggest concern that most people had. At first, when these first came out, they were $500, and we've been able to lower the price to 300 bucks. That is actually cheaper than most regular winch lines if you're paying for a name brand. Amazon stuff, I can't say. Also, this is a quarter inch line. This is good for ATVs. People said, hey, 
I like that, but do you make them for ATVs? Our first answer was no. Now our answer is yes, absolutely. So this is the quarter inch line. It's for ATVs, side-by-sides, four-wheelers, anything smaller than a Jeep. Let me answer another question I got a lot with that first video, and that is what are these rated at? So these broke at above 15,000 pounds. We put in a little safety net there, so we're gonna rate these at 15,000 pounds. Whatever your winch is rated at, so let's say you have a 10,000 pound winch, you want a safety net of 1.5. So multiply that times 1.5, you need a winch rope at least that or higher. The quarter inch line for side-by-sides is rated at 8,000 pounds. How else did we listen to y'all's comments? Well, we talked about price, 300 for the Jeep line, 200 for the side-by-side -side line, but if you're really, really on a budget, we even offer these in 12 foot lengths. Why would you do that? Well, let's say you just bought your winch and it came with a brand new synthetic line. You don't want to replace it yet. What can you do? You can splice this right in. So on our website, directions, it's not that hard to do. Splice this right into your current existing winch line. 300 for the 3 8 I wouldn't let you do that with a regular winch line. What do you mean? Toss uh. them up on my hood. <laughs> Freedom winch line takes metal out of the equation for the recovery, which is a huge safety factor. But while it does it, it adds tons of versatility. You don't have to watch very many of my videos. If there's a winch in there, I'm definitely using a freedom winch line. Another idea with these 12 foot links, I got the question a lot, can you attach to an 8274 winch, which is typically a 150 foot winch line. We don't offer that length, but you can take the 12 footer and splice that right into your synthetic winch line for your 8274. All right, we've talked about it in theory, but how does it work in practice? These are the things that you would typically need to winch with a regular winch line. This is all you need with the Freedom line. So if you've got something small, maybe you only need this size. You go around it just like that. You put the knot through there, you're winching. Let's say you've got something bigger. You wanna go around a big giant tree. You just walk around the tree. You take the rope back to itself, find the hole put it through there. As this pulls tight, it's gonna pull that tight so it can't come back through. You're winching that fast. Okay, now let's pretend I have to actually set this thing up. So first we're gonna go around the tree like this. And then we're gonna take this thing out and then we're gonna put this through here, through here, through here. Now you're winching. But here's the real reason that I came up with this. I was out so many times with so many people that bought something similar to this, but they wouldn't carry these parts of it. So. They bought this because it was cool. I admit, looks cool, sticking out the front of your winch. But they would say, help, I need a winch. So you'd go out, you'd get this, you'd pull it out to the tree and you'd say, hey, okay, where is your tree saver? Where's your shackle? And they would say, I don't have one. It's either that or it's in the back and you can't open the tailgate. Maybe they're underwater. Maybe they're backed up against a tree and you can't get to this without a shackle, without this, you can't even use this. Like let's say you wanted to use this without anything else. You go around a tree, you can't even, it's, it's not possible to hook it back to itself without other accessories. I'd rather just have a hook. The hook, this has been standard for years. It's very similar, a little bit easier, but still complicated. So you have to take this, go around the tree, then you have to find your shackle. You gotta put that through there, through there, through here. And then you can finally hook that to the shackle. You're okay. gonna say the same thing I'm gonna say. Why not just put the hook through? Oh. I know what you're thinking. Why not remove this and just go straight to here? Well, this one, you probably could, but some of these have wider pieces and sometimes it's just dangerous to try to get that all fit into here because as you can see, 
it doesn't close on itself. But it's totally doable as long as you have the right kind of tree saver. Sometimes though, those are two inches wide or three inches wide and you can't fit them both into the hook. Let's say you get that in there and it actually does. Now you have to try to work that back through, which like I said, this one's nice because it's necked down, but some of them are not. Josh, you need the wide one so we can show how dumb it is. <laughs> I can hear it now from the peanut gallery. You guys are saying, always use a tree saver. I agree wholeheartedly. I love trees. Save the trees. Use a tree saver when applicable. If your friend, though, is on the side of a cliff and he's about to roll over, forget the tree saver, okay? If, if your buddy is upside down in a creek drowning and his arm is caught underneath the Jeep, forget the tree saver. Use the Freedom Winch Line. It's fast, it's quick, it's easy, it's simple. That's why we made it. Also, another point that I wanted to make. Everybody was saying, oh, you're gonna choke the tree, you're gonna kill the tree. This is not just a standard 3 8 winch line. The last eight foot of this is doubled up. So that's three quarter inch wide winch line. On top of that, you have the sheath, which makes it a little bit wider than that. So what I wanna do, I've got a 6,000 pound Jeep back there. I'm gonna dead pull that thing. What do you think, like 10 feet? And we're gonna see how much damage it does to this tree. Sound fair? Sounds fair. I think he's underestimating with that 500 pounds of water in his tires how much his Jeep weighs, though. <laughs> <laughs> will, the, will the winch even pull my Jeep? <laughs> it's really struggling. All four tires are just pulling. I couldn't see it from there. Did I kill the tree? I don't think it's dead. <laughs> Sustained a little bit of damage. That was at a dead pull though. 6,000 pounds of Jeep with, uh, in park. <laughs> in park, in four wheel drive, and up a steep hill. So, I'm gonna say it again. Use a tree saver if you can. Here's what happens though, most of the time. Let me show you something. I've been out in the woods a lot. I've seen it all. Here's what happens. 99% of the people out there, they're newbies or whatever, they, they get out to the tree, they're like, hmm, I don't know what to do. They go like this, they put that on there. That is what kills the tree, that cinches. Not only does that hurt the tree, but it cinches down on the tree on all sides. There's a bit of a difference with the Freedom Winch Line because you're only hitting half of the tree, the back side of the tree. It's the same thing with this guy. Maybe the guy did have a tree saver, but maybe he left it on the tree back on the trail back there. So he gets to the tree. He's like, okay, what am I gonna do here? So here's what happens inevitably. This thing goes around the tree. This thing goes here. And this goes here. Then you saw the tree. <laughs> Don't do this, this is the wrong way to do it. But what I'm trying to get at is, maybe you had the best intentions, you just lost your tree saver. The Freedom Winch Line, however, you can't lose this because it's part of the winch line itself. The simplest way to hook up to a tree saver, put the tree saver around the tree. This goes right through the tree saver and then you can go right to itself, the first loop and you're ready to pull, just like that. I recover a lot of rental cars, Priuses, Toyotas, Nissans, the recovery points are not, they're not existent. This is so safe and durable. Here's something else that we ran into at Moab just last month too. So we needed a winch line. Of course, we're using a freedom line, but I didn't think about this until then. Josh is 20 foot up here, I'm 20 foot down here, and he needs to get the winch line to me. Can you imagine if this thing is coming at your face because you got to toss it? How many times have you gotten done with the winch line? You're like, everybody stand back, winch line's coming through. This thing is heavy. This thing, not so much. Hey, throw me that winch line. Jeez. Dang it, I lost that shackle again. Ah, got it. This is what happens to your trees without a tree saver. Don't let this happen to you. Or your trees.
PSA by Bleepin' Jeep. So when Matt was developing this product, he brought one to me to test. I put it on the Morver. It's still the original one on there. And a lot of you have seen how hard I've worked this. You have bugs here. Kaka! Kaka! Well, I was trying to get some cool drone shots for you guys, but uh, we accidentally hung the drone in the tallest tree around. We've been throwing sticks at it now for about 30 minutes, but can't can't get it out. What you got? Let's see. Got nothing good. It's on the edge of a cliff right here. <laughs> oh. So close. Yet so far. One more feature I forgot to tell you about. What the heck is that? Why is it red at the end? That means stop. Don't pull out any further. You never want to pull out your winch line too far down past that last drum. So this is to tell you, hey, you're getting too close. Don't go out anymore. Comes on all the freedom winch lines. We just unspooled that. Spool it. And we're gonna have to spool it all back. <laughs> we're doing it for you guys. So I know most of you don't do off-road recovery professionally, um, but this rope still offers an amazing like, safety factor. Not only are you taking the metal out of it, like we said before, but you can just grab the winch and just run and hook it. You've got everything you need. If it's a rollover situation, somebody's in trouble, or you've got a vehicle that's about to roll over or go over an edge or whatever, if you run for the winch and you end up there and then you got to yell back for, hey, does anybody have a bow shackle or soft shackle or whatever, and people are scrambling to get it, Freedom Winch Line, you've got everything you need. If, it, if this won't go around it, you've got all these options. This will go around it. This will go around it. The way these work, see that? Boom, you're in there. I've been pulling on this steady for years with a 12,000 pound winch. Like I said, no problems, no frays, no stretching, no signs of failure. Um, it's about time to replace it, probably just simply for the amount of work I have on it. But it is a solid construction, solid design. Um, I use it on all my rigs, I'm gonna continue to use it and uh, I recommend you at least look into it. Okay, to recap, Freedom Winch Line. Check it out on bleepinjeep.com if you want more information. We've got these for Jeeps, we've got these for side-by-sides, and they are faster. They're quick to deploy. They're stronger, they're lighter. There's absolutely no accessories required. And in some cases, they're cheaper than a name brand winch line, especially when you start adding accessories. This doesn't need any accessories, it's all right there. We've got more information for you on bleepinjeep.com. Check it out. You can winch to a tree, winch to a small hole, winch to a roll cage, winch to a hook, winch high in a tree, winch to a Prius, winch to a D-ring, winch to a tire, winch to an axle, winch to a shackle, winch to a bumper, winch out a log, winch to a truck, and winch to a hitch. That's just some of the uses. If you can find more, let me know. And if you've bought one of these and are using it, let me see pictures. I want to see pictures of you guys. All right. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. We found a use for the hook. Ah, not high enough. <laughs> Wrong tree! Check this out. You can even winch to something as small as a one inch hole with the Freedom Winch Line. Just put the uh, end piece right through there, the Freedom Loop, and back to itself. So you could go to that, you could go to a bumper, you could go to a roll cage, you could go to um, anything. Like I said, any thing. Tree. Roots. Rock. Oh, we haven't mentioned rock. You can go around a rock. We did that on the, what was that? Rattle rock? Rattle rock. <laughs> I'm gonna race him.